Oh yeah, do you see that right there? You know what that is? That is a periscope pole. All I gotta do now is get the watertight enclosure that's going to hold the actual camera sensor inside of it. And we're gonna get all that all those wires in there and, and put that through and get that sealed up. So that way it can withstand being underwater. But it works. We got a private submarine with a periscope. One of my childhood dreams coming true right now. Periscope on a submarine. We're gonna be able to cruise underwater this summer and uh, show you guys some periscope footage as well as some underwater footage inside the sub. So many cool things coming guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and like, follow me. So the old display is broken from the amount of condensation and humidity in here. So we're gonna make this nice, quick and easy. I got a new display for the submarine. We're gonna be able to look at that periscope through this monitor, drive under the surface, looking through the periscope. Periscope's also gonna make it a lot easier when diving. I'm gonna be able to see right when the water is about to reach the hatches, take more of the guesswork out of it, and it's gonna make for a much smoother dive. There is our new screen. Now it's time to install the periscope tower. So this is our periscope pole. You know, the old school submarines where you can look through and and turn around like this. Those are cool and nostalgic, but it's just not practical for this size submarine. It's also much more expensive. Everything's mechanical. I'm gonna have to make a new hull opening, put the piping through there and the mirrors and all that, and, and be able to rotate it and keep that sealed, very expensive. I can accomplish the same job for what I'm looking to do going digital. Yeah. Boom. Let's close this hatch. We now have a periscope. Turn those lights on. Actually, you know what? Let's turn on the red lights. Oh, because that looks so much cooler. I think this is now one of the only that I know of. One of the only submarines in the United States that's a private submarine with a periscope. Yes. That's so cool. There's probably a couple dozen at most people that have built a submarine that works in the United States. And this is one of them. And we have a fucking periscope. Now, yes, the periscope's gonna allow us to make some pretty awesome content during the summer, but it's also gonna make my life diving this thing a lot easier. Because before when I dove it, I would kind of guesstimate where the water level was gonna be at the hatch to seal it up. And if it wasn't enough, I'd vent it just a little bit, close it, vent it just a little bit, close it to get that as close as possible. But now I can visually watch it happen from inside the submarine while it's submerging. I'll be able to close the valve at the perfect time and get the neutral buoyancy it's so much easier when you can actually see outside the submarine and where that water line is as it's coming up to the hatch. All right, so I'm gonna react to some comments on the channel over the past week. Uh, first one, uh, nice submersible. I heard there's this cool wreck that billionaires like to visit. You should check it out. So uh, yeah, um, I can't check that out. I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about that Ocean Gate. This is not the Titan 2, guys. Somebody else commented. Somebody else commented a name idea for the submarine. And I love it. Because I said, guys, this is not going to be the Titan 2. This is not Ocean Gate Titan 2. This submarine's name is SS1, which is kind of boring. So I asked you guys, give me some name ideas. Somebody commented, best name I've heard yet. Poseidon's curse. Now, for those that don't know, Poseidon is like the god of the ocean and the submarine is his curse. I think that is a really good name, by the way. So we might actually change the name to it, the Poseidon's curse. I really like it. Let's see. All right. Next comment. You need to switch to doing helicopters, hovercraft, and mountain bikes. Well, I'm not really a mountain bike guy, but I do love the hovercraft. So maybe I will do a video building a hovercraft. Give it a thumbs up and throw it in the comments if you want to see me do a hovercraft DIY build. I'll build a hovercraft. I'll build a land sea hovercraft. We'll drive it right into the lake and we'll cruise around. That would be pretty freaking fun, wouldn't it? All right, so we'll maybe do that. Um, you should install some grading on top of your ballast tanks on the sides. So that'd give a little deck area for better accessibility on the surface. Good. So that was a good comment. Um, the reason it doesn't have grading up here is it would add a lot of weight on the top, which would make it a little less stable on the surface. 
more than I'd like, which is why I only put the grate here on this little spot that the, the, the pool box is sitting on top of. But I could add a plastic type of grating across the deck and I might do that. Uh, all right, next comment. Now I want to build one. Good luck, man. Uh, if you have any questions for anybody who wants to build a submarine, actually, make sure you follow all the legal guidelines and do it all properly. But um, if you want to build a submarine, a good starting spot would be psubs.org. Great, great place to start. And uh, there's a book out there called Man Submersibles by Frank Busby, I believe. If I'm incorrect, I'll put the text right over the video here. All right, next comment. Broski's building a narc sub. You know what? First of all, this goes like three miles an hour and it's not going to travel across the ocean. It's made for lakes. Two, narc subs don't actually go fully underwater. Uh, they need a snorkel for the engine to breathe and they don't fully submerge. This does. So this is actually a little bit better than a narc sub. All right, next question. This is about the last video that I posted with my girlfriend, Shannon. I hope you guys liked it. So if you didn't see that yet definitely check it out i will throw the link up here in this little notification tab and in the description down below people said she helped straighten out the dryness return please thanks <laughs> so uh it's the first 1k channel that i subscribed and already like it thank you very much yes we are still small but growing pretty quickly yeah guys so thank you so much for tuning in uh, I hope you guys think the Periscope thing is cool. We're, I'm going to show you so much more of this during the summertime. It's only so much I can film working in the garage. And I don't want to just show you guys me fishing wire and doing all this boring stuff. So I figured I'd put a little bit of a little bit more into this video as far as answering some questions and interacting with you guys. So throw your questions down below and I'll put that in the next video if you want. So thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.